In this video we share Medjugorje's father Yozo Zavko and the final prophecy of Fatima. Father Yozo Zavko prophesied the more specific contents of the triumph of Mary's Immaculate Heart. At times he is referred to as the seventh visionary. It is beyond doubt that Father Yozo, parish priest in Medjugorje at the time of the first apparitions had his own mystical experiences. Only one of the Virgin Mary's prophecies from Fatima still remains to be fulfilled, in the end, my Immaculate Heart will triumph. Fatima, July 13, 1917. Little more than 74 years later, in Medjugorje, the Virgin Mary revealed that the time of her triumph is near. I invite you to renunciation for nine days, so that with your help everything I wanted to realize through the secrets I began in Fatima may be fulfilled. On April 23, 1992 he told the French nun sister Emmanuel Maillard, here ends a great war which in Europe began with the arrival of communism. Here, the prophecy of Fatima, with respect to the conversion of the world and of the debacle of the atheistic communist regime is justified, is carried out. And here where communism and evil were perhaps the most deeply rooted, here where the Virgin Mary appeared for ten years, here is taking place what is going to be unique, grandiose, the victory, the triumph of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, the downfall of human errors, the change of the human heart, the creation of a new mentality, the beginning of a better world. During the apparition of December 25, 1982, according to Miriana, the Madonna confided to her the tenth and last secret, and revealed to her, the dates in which the different secrets will be realized. The Blessed Virgin revealed to Miriana some aspects of the future, up to this point, in greater detail than to the other seers. For this reason, I am reporting here what Miriana told me in a conversation of November 5, 1983. I summarized the essentials of her account, without literal quotation. Miriana told me. Before the visible sign is given to mankind, there will be three warnings to the world. The warnings will be in the form of events on earth. Miriana will be a witness to them. Ten days before one of the admonitions, Miriana will notify a priest of her choice. The witness of Miriana will be a confirmation of the apparitions and a stimulus for the conversion of the world. After the admonitions, the visible sign will appear on the site of the apparitions in Medjugorje for all the world to see. The sign will be given as a testimony to the apparitions and in order to call people back to faith. The ninth and tenth secrets are serious. They concern chastisement for the sins of the world. Punishment is inevitable, for we cannot expect the whole world to be converted. The punishment can be diminished by prayer and penance, but it cannot be eliminated. Miriana says that one of the evils that threatened the world, the one contained in the seventh secret, has been averted thanks to prayer and fasting. That is why the Blessed Virgin continues to encourage prayer and fasting, you have forgotten that through prayer and fasting you can avert wars and suspend the laws of nature. After the first admonition, the others will follow in a rather short time. Thus, people will have some time for conversion. That interval will be a period of grace and conversion. After the visible sign appears, those who are still alive will have little time for conversion. For that reason, the Blessed Virgin invites us to urgent conversion and reconciliation. The invitation to prayer and penance is meant to avert evil and war, but most of all to save souls. According to Miriana, the events predicted by the Blessed Virgin are near. By virtue of this experience, Miriana proclaims to the world, convert as quickly as possible. Open your hearts to God. Excuse me for this, but you must realize that Satan exists. One day he appeared before the throne of God and asked permission to submit the church to a period of trial. God gave him permission to try the church for one century. This century is under the power of the devil, but when the secrets confided to you come to pass, his power will be destroyed. Even now he is beginning to lose his power and has become aggressive. He is destroying marriages, 
creating division among priests and is responsible for obsessions and murder. You must protect yourselves against these things through fasting and prayer, especially community prayer. Carry blessed objects with you. Put them in your house, and restore the use of holy water. Thank you for supporting my channel. May God bless you and keep you. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us.